in the past few years, we've seen state legislatures introduce bills that basically require that students have to learn cursive writing uh, in elementary school. Cursive handwriting is not in the Common Core state standards, which have replaced the English and language arts standards in 43 states. And so this has led to a sort of concern that if it's not on the test, if students can type their assignments or print their assignments, cursive handwriting is just going to disappear and die out. But the truth is, cursive was really fading out before the Common Core. In 2006, the SAT started to require an essay, um, and this is how we sort of have data on what students choose to write. And only 15% of the students used cursive. This was kids who were, who were in elementary school in the 90s. Cursive handwriting became taught uh, more commonly sort of at the same time as education became more democratic. So it started with something called the Spencerian script. If you've seen a college diploma, if you've seen like a wedding invitation with that really loopy, fancy writing, um, that's what the Spencerian script was. It's beautiful. But obviously it's not very practical to learn to write this really gorgeous, loopy handwriting. And so in the 1920s, um, which is when education was becoming much more universal, not just at the elementary level, but sort of continuing on past that, that's also when they developed a new method of writing cursive. It's called the Palmer Method. It's certainly, if you have a, a grandparent with beautiful handwriting, they're probably writing the Palmer Method. And there are two major styles of cursive that were taught from the 1960s on, the Danelian Method and the Zane Blozer Method. This is a big debate. Is is there a reason to learn cursive besides sort of a nostalgic idea that this is an important skill that you have as an adult? The arguments in favor are that it's, it's a fine motor skills sort of thing. It's good for kids to have to learn to use their hands this way. And there's also this sort of patriotic argument that the Constitution and the Declaration of Independence are written in cursive. And what if kids can't read these founding documents in the original print? The arguments against teaching cursive are mostly that nobody has shown that there's really a major benefit to learning cursive. So it's a lot of time and energy spent in the third and fourth grade learning basically a second system of writing after you've already learned to write. 